Good morning, everyone. It is April 23rd, 9.15 in the morning, and this is the day after the great fiasco of 2020 Bowman First Edition on Tops.com. Let's find out if I fell for the trap yesterday. So the trap was set yesterday from Tops.com, and they said it's available uh, locally for my time between 1 and 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I figured, you know what? I'll grab some lunch, and then I'll mess with the website for one hour, and I'll see if I can find any 2020 Bowman First Edition. Uh, I think I laid out my thoughts pretty clear yesterday on the product overall. I still have a ton of concerns on it. You know, we still don't know the auto checklist. We, you know, we, we now have the odds, at least, for all the parallels. It does look like if you if you take a, if you take the math on the one of ones and you sort of extrapolate it out over 150 subjects in the set, we're looking at about a product with 716 cases overall. So a small product, but nothing nothing too large. But that sort of explains why there is uh, such a demand for it. Is a very very small print run uh, at the end of the day. But hey, I loaded up the website at about 12:45. And I said, let's see if I can pick some up. Um, I was strictly buying to flip the product. I, I just don't see the value in it from an opening perspective. But I figured if people are going to spend, you know, 50, 60 bucks on these packs uh, on the secondary market in the middle of May, I might as well try to spend some time on the website to pick some up. And that is where the adventures began. So the first hour yesterday was me spent viewing the product on tops.com. I saw it. I could I could see the product. I could try to add the cart, but I could not physically add it to the cart. It would just refresh and it would blank out. It would refresh. And I think that the biggest challenge for me yesterday from a time perspective is that it was raining here all day. I couldn't go outside. I couldn't do any gardening. So I was basically inside working on the website, messing around on Twitter and this website. So I got sucked in uh, big time just because I couldn't really uh, uh, exit from the website or exit from the office because I was just in here doing stuff. I was like, well, I'll just keep trying. And so the first hour was all about just being able to get the product in the cart. And finally, after the first hour, I was able to get the 24 packs in the cart. And so I thought that was a uh, positive movement. I thought that was going to be a good sign for me long term. But Actually having the, the uh, cards or the packs be entered into my cart was actually probably the worst thing for me because then I didn't want to give up. I was like, they're there. I can't give up now. I'm this close to making X amount of dollars if I can get these uh, purchased and sold. And so once they're in the cart, then I was able to view my cart. But from there, the next, I think, hour, it was when I would go to my cart, it would refresh on the on the box on tops.com where the product is uh, located. It would just keep refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. Uh, about an hour later, uh, I was able to then select my shipping method. So I did overnight. I figured, you know what, let's just get these in uh, May 5th, the next day. We all know how on tops.com, SmartPost is the absolute worst shipping method ever in the history. So you never want to use smart post, but I was able to to get all of that. So by about four thirty, four o'clock, I need to check my, what time I, my, I tweeted out the photo. I was able to select the shipping method. I was able to get to the very, very end. And then when I hit submit payment, when that happened, the screen, of course, went totally gray as it normally does. But at the same time, I then again got a spinning circle on the product uh, that I was trying to purchase, the 24 packs. So I let it sit there for about 40 minutes, but they were both circling. So I was just hoping that that maybe the order was going to go through. I had hit confirm payment or, or whatever the, the payment option is, but it, it never worked. Uh, I kept checking my credit card. I was hoping to see a posted payment or a pending transaction. I was hoping to see some life through an email, but nothing, nothing was working. And so I finally gave up by five o'clock and I had Jerry here, she was downstairs. Uh, she was on her work laptop and she had the website up open also trying to get some, just trying to, to see which one of us could get through first. Uh, and she never got as far as I did with it. But once I got to that payment screen, I thought I was, I thought I was there. I thought I made it, but I just, it just never worked. And so I see that people, you know, by five o'clock uh, Pacific time, we guess eight o'clock back east, 
were able to pick some up. Um, I reloaded the website. I reloaded my card. I tried to do everything. I just never were, was able to to pick some up uh, yesterday on day number one. I'm going to try again today. And, and we know uh, for, for anyone who's worked in retail, we understand website traffic, managing websites is just like payroll. You never have enough or you always have too much. So being able to have the right amount of servers on tops.com for the crush um, is the greatest unknown. So so I'm going to cut tops some slack today. I'm, I'm hoping that it's a little better today. But I think the big question we have at the moment is what time is it going to go live? As of the start of this video, Tops just said it's going to be available. Uh, I don't think they've released a time yet. I hope it's again from you know one to two o'clock our time here, but we will see. But I'm curious, uh, were you able to find any yesterday? Were you able to get any? Um, are you going to keep trying today? And if you are going to keep trying, are you going to be opening this product? Are you going to be flipping it? Are you going to be hosting a group break? What is your thought process with this product? But hey, best of luck out there today. Hopefully your adventures uh, with the tops.com website is better. Hopefully you find the product you need. Have a great day collecting and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.